So begins the tale of Knights of a Round Table. Maybe not the one you know, and his endings go, not the one you'll see coming. Our story starts at the end of another adventure. Having slain more dragons than is ecologically sound, and rescued more princesses than seemed necessary, it was time for them to rest. Each knight whose heavy armor had seen better days, but not been upon better nights, they each removed and sat content to their medieval pants. Admiring each other's proud weaponry, and warming all of themselves by a camp blaze, it occurred to our heroes they were being spied upon. Indeed, many an eye flickered in the dark blue of the forest depths. Suddenly a clank rang out, as one of them saw his armor simply grabbed by an unseen claw or hand, vanish, and then one by one the other's armor followed. Angered, the knights sprang up the best they could, in little than their underclothes, and seizing the swords they ran into the night. The race was furious. Tracking best they could in the thick woods of speed, the knights finally found themselves in an open plain, with trees imposingly looking at them. They shrugged. Do what they will with our armor. Do the clothes maketh man? Nay. With this and little else about them, and to avoid the late evening chills, they decided to make plans for home. But this would seem impossible as the ground sank below them. What appeared to be mere dust was mud. Oozy mud that like snakes coiled around their ankles. And before the knights could call out with one sudden mighty pull, the knights were gone. Just their swords hit the ground. Now, Many say that this is just a caution tale to our fear children to not go wandering in the woods, and the knights were never there and will never return. It would only take one word to free them, and renew their strengths are natural and unstoppable lengths, and that word is... Pandora. And good luck to all those who sail in her. Doctor Witch featured C.J. Hooper, and was written by Ruben Stewart and Elliot Stewart and is an Invisible Commission's production.